Today I'm going to show you how to do in-game Robux donations. Everybody's doing it, so I thought, why not me too? But I added a twist. I got an NPC with a dialog box. So we got future SimTech guy. That's me in five years. We go up here. We'll click on a little dialog. Bruh, you got some spare Robux? And I'll be like, ah, yeah. He goes, how about 10 R? How about 10 Robux? Okay. So then you're going to get a prompt from your uh, from your marketplace service. Go ahead and give them the 10 Robux. Sweet. And then you can click on it again. Yeah. And it says, how about 20 R? That's how it starts, right? And then we just keep incrementing until the people give up. So let's go ahead and get started with getting some in-game donations. I have an empty base plate right here. And the first thing we're going to have to do is save this off. So I'm going to go to my game settings. I'm going to click on that cog. And then I'll do save to Roblox. Open that up. Give it a name, something like spare change. I don't know, whatever you want. And then I'm going to turn team create off because I'm not using any team people. And then we'll hit save and close. Now we're going to go to the Roblox website and we have to make some game passes. We could do this with products or we could do it with game passes. I think game passes is easier. Ah, I didn't realize my camera was still on. Anyway, let's go over to the Roblox website and we'll go to create. We got to make some game passes. Now we just saved off this game right here, spare change. We're going to click on it. And we're going to look for passes and then we'll create a pass. I'll just keep the default image. Let's call this uh, 10R donation. All right, we'll hit create pass. Oh, you got to set it on sale too. Did I take? Yeah, there we go. We got to put it on sale. So if you go ahead and click it and sales, we want to say like item for sale, 10 save changes and you might want to make many of these because we're going to cycle through which ones are not owned by the user and pre present them with one that is not owned so let's go and make another one we'll go back to associated items passes create another pass i'll just do two right that, that'll be enough for the video and we'll say 20 r donation how about that you can put a description if you want. Create game pass. I don't think. Yeah, you gotta you gotta click on it again. It says off sale, sales, item for sale, 20, save changes. That'll work. Let's take a look at what we got. Alright, so we got two game passes. That's pretty good. And you could put many, many, many in there, right? So you could have multiple of 10. Just go ahead and leave this page open for now. We're gonna need to get the IDs for our game. But in the meanwhile, let's open up Roblox Studio. We're gonna to go to Avatar. We're gonna add a rig, rig builder. You can pick either. We're gonna put the dialogue on the rig's head. So it won't matter if it's R6 or R15. All right, there's my rig, open them up. And here's the head. Let's hit the plus. Hit a D, dialog. Cool. I'll just keep it the default name. And then on the dialog, I want initial prompt. What should I write? Bruh. Dot, dot, dot. You got some spare Robux. Robux? Question mark. All right. Now on that dialog, Hit the plus, dialogue choice. There we go. Now we have to answer, right? He asked if we had if we if we had any spare Robux. We'll just go ahead and call that choice no. And then down here in user dialogue, this is what shows up down in the corner. So you can say something like no, get a job. Simtech Gamer 7 or whoever. Let's go to dialogue again, hit the plus, and then we'll add another dialogue choice. Yeah, let's call this one yes. And we'll go down to user dialogue, and then we'll say something like yeah. And uh, that's good, yeah. 
All right, now on yes, we're gonna to have to add something else because we wanna know how much, right? So we'll do another dialogue choice on the yes, gonna branch that out a little bit more, and maybe we'll just call this how much. And I'm not gonna put anything in there because we wanna read what game passes are available that the user hasn't already purchased and then present them with a question that makes sense. Now let's go ahead and scroll down in the Explorer 2. How about starter player? Open that up and starter player scripts. Hit the plus. We'll add a local script. And then this one we might call this donate or donate loc. So we know it's a local script. We're going to add some stuff. Let's get rid of our print statement. We're going to need the market. How about the marketplace service game get service marketplace service we are going to need the rig right we'll just say rig yeah I call him like simtech guy or something in my video or my demo i think we should have him rig here remember though if you change the name of the rig, you need to change it in here too. So we got a rig right there. If you have multiple rigs, you might run into trouble finding your dialogue. All right, now we're gonna do a head from the rig, rig, and I'm gonna do wait for child. It's important because this is a player script, so as you're entering the game, maybe you might not see stuff right away. Although it's usually all right on the server side. It's just better safe than sorry. Let's get our dialogue from the head. So we'll say head, wait for child, dialogue. Let's put our game pass IDs in a key value pair table. So I'll say local game pass IDs equal open and close curly brackets and we'll do a key value pair. If you want to guarantee order, you're going to have to use two arrays, not key value pairs, but I think it's neater to do it like this. So I'm gonna use the square bracket notations for my key. I'll say 10R, and 10R is gonna be equal to something. What's it gonna be equal to? We're gonna to go to our website that we left up. Hit those three dots for the 10R donation. Copy asset ID. We're gonna go back and paste it. All right, and then we're gonna do the same for the 20. Let's just copy this, Control C, Control V. So I put one in there for every game pass you have because we're gonna to check to see which ones that the user has and which ones they don't. Right, let's get the other ID. There's our 20, copy asset ID, go back to our code and Control V. I'm gonna use a variable to store the choice that the user selected, I'm gonna call this donate choice. We'll set it to nil. And I'll show you how to use that in a second. Let's get the dialogue, the in-game dialogue that's on the rig's head. And there's gonna be a dialogue choice selected event that happens when the player clicks on stuff. We are gonna connect that to an anonymous function. Two parameters will get passed in. The player is one and the choice is the other. We'll say if the choice that the user selects, let me move my mouse so you can see, equals equals dialogue dot yes. Remember we called one of those yes. Then we'll say for i and v in pairs game pass IDs do. Keep in mind that i is the keys, right? And then V is the actual ID. We're gonna check to see what passes the player has. So I'm gonna need a variable called has pass. That'll be either true or false, depending if they have the pass. Let's initialize it to false. And then we're gonna do a protected call. I'll say local success in message. Those are the two parameters that come back from protected calls. Whenever we do an asynchronous call, it's a good idea to wrap it into a P call, which is a protected call. We'll put the function in there, no parameters, and then we'll get a return value of has pass when we call the marketplace services user 
owns Game Pass Async. Make sure you get this one. That's an easy mistake to make when you're calling the, the, uh, the marketplace service. We're going to need to pass in the player user ID and the ID that we wanted to check. What's the ID? It's V, right? So you got to remember that one. All right, we got down here at the end. So basically the P call just wrapped that one line of code. And what else? Let's check to see if has pass, if not has pass has occurred. So, or if not success has occurred. So something went wrong with the P call. Not whether they have a pass or not, we're just checking for catastrophic failure here. Let's check that and then we'll do a printout just to see. We'll say problem occurred, problem occurred. What problem? It's gonna be in the message. So we'll just do comma MSG. All right, I'm not gonna do anything fancy for my error handling. Now, if they have the pass or not have the pass, right? So if not, has passed that's good we can we can ask him for that we'll say dialog dot yes dot how much remember we don't have any text in there and we want to put it in the user dialog property we'll say how about string concatenator and then what are we going to do if we put i it is going to say Let's say the first one, 10R. So how about 10R? So that's pretty convenient with the using the key value pairs or if you're a Python person, you'll, you call it a dictionary. Then we'll get the donate choice and let's save our value. Let's say V, All right? So that's gonna be the ID. Now if we got to this point, we can return from this function, we don't have to do anything. We presented a question, hey, how about 10R or 20R, whatever. Now, down here, this is a little tricky to find. We have a choice for the yes, let's close it. Now we're gonna need a choice for the how much. Now when I go ahead and hit this enter, weird things are gonna happen, it's gonna open back up. I hate the way it does that, but it got me to this point. So I know I need to be at this point. Let's do an if choice equals equals dialog yes dot yes dot how much. We're gonna handle that. They clicked if donate choice. Remember this is a user script. So this is gonna be this is gonna be client side. This choice is gonna be stored in here unless you like died in between choices, right? Uh, we'll do if choice then marketplace service prompt game pass purchase make sure you get this one right this is where a lot of experienced programmers mess up they get the wrong prompt and then the id gives uh, some strange error it's really hard to figure out so prompt game pass purchase you're going to pass in the player not the player's user id the player and then the donate choice is the id right the v that we passed in here that's the id of the pass all right and then let's get the donate choice and set that to nil now we can kind of test this in roblox studio but it's not a thorough test and there's a glitch in roblox studio where am i at home let's go do game settings if you test game pass purchases and roblox studio you have to allow third-party sales but that makes your game vulnerable also you don't actually have to allow third-party sales in your game so we're not going to test this in roblox studio we're going to test it on the player another thing we're going to fix before we test it though is you already own the game passes because you created them. So we got to get rid of those game passes. Go to www.roblox.com and then we're going to hit our, for your account, of course, and then go for these three lines, inventory. We're going to go to our passes, passes, and scroll up passes scroll up there we go we got to get rid of these or you're not going to be able to purchase them for testing all right so we'll go ahead and click on that hit those three dots delete from inventory yes and now we can go back get the other one 
Hey, what? Twenty dollar, twenty twenty Roblox donation. Delete from inventory. Yes. Sweet. All right, and then I can go ahead and close this. And I'm gonna bring up. I'm gonna bring up the game on Roblox Studio. So actually, maybe I will open this. We'll go to create. And here's my spare change. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna view on Roblox. And when I hit play, I'm gonna pause the video so you don't have to watch that load up. That could take some time. I'm on the Roblox player and I'm gonna check out my Game Pass donation system. Let's click to see what he wants. Brah! You got some spare Robux. I should probably get rid of that rig thing. It's kind of messing up my tax. I'm going to say, yeah. And he's going to say, how about 10R? Hmm. Would you like to buy a 10R donation? Uh, yeah. All right. Your purchase of 10R donations succeeded. All right. So we got some Robux in our game. So just remember, make enough of these passes so you don't get to the end or else... You're not going to get any money from people. So you got to have enough. I will see you in the next video.